ಅಕ್ರತುಂಡಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಅರತೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭಂ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಕೃತ್ವ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥಸ್ವಿಣ ತತ್ವಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ವಾಗರ್ಥಾವಿವ ಸಂಪೃಕ್ತ ವಾಗರ್ತ ಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತ ಜಗತ ಪಿತರೋ ವಂದೇ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಏನಾಕ್ಷರ ಸಂಯ ಅಧಿಗಮ್ಯ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರಾತ್ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಪಾಣಿನಯ ನಮಃ ವಾಕ್ಯಕಾರಂಬರುಚಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಪಾಣಿ ಸೂತ್ರಕಾರಂಚ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಮುನಿ ಸಹನಾಭವತು ಸಹವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಧೇತ ಸ್ತಮಾಪಿತ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಅಲ್ಪಾಕ್ಷರ ಅಲ್ಪಾಕ್ಷರ ಸಾರವತ್ ವಿಶ್ವತೋ ಮುಖಂ ಅಸ್ತೋಭಂ ಅನವದ್ಯ ಸೂತ್ರ 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 ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಇನ್ನೊ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಶ್ವತ ಮುಖಂ ವಿಶ್ವತ ಮುಖಂ ಯ ಸೂತ್ರ ಸಾಲ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ವಿಶ್ವತೋ ಮುಖಂ ಅಲ್ಪಾಕ್ಷರ 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 ಅಲ್ಪ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಅಲ್ಪ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಸೂತ್ರ ಸಕ್ರಮಾರ್ಯ ಸಮಾಸ ಅಸಂದಿಗ್ಧ ಸಂದಿಗ್ಧಿಟಿ ಅಸ್ತೋಭಂ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ ನಂಚ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಸಮಾಸ ಅನವದ್ಯ ನವದ್ಯ ಅನವದ್ಯ ಅಲ್ಪಾಕ್ಷರ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸೂತ್ರ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ದಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಭಗವರಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಸ ಅಲ್ಪಾನಿ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಅಲ್ಪಾನಿ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಎಸ್ಮಿನ್ ತತ್ ಅರ್ಯಸೆ ತತ್ ಭಗವರಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಸ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ಮದಾರ್ಯ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ದಿ ಉಚ್ಚಾರಣ ಸ್ಥಾನ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ದಿ ನಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ಸೂತ್ರ Generally, in the class, we chant first Mageshwara Sutra and then Ucharana Sthanam. But here, first we learnt the Ucharana Sthanam and then now we have the knowledge of 
the varna thorough knowledge of the varna varna uchchana sthanam and its prayatnam we know therefore we chant shiksha sutrani first akuga visarjaniya nam kantaha akuga visarjaniya nam kantaha ichu yashanam talu ichu yashanam talu ऋतुरशानाम मूर्धा ऋतुरशानाम मूर्धा ऋतुलसानाम दंताहा उपोपत्मानियानाम ओष्टाव उपोपत्मानियानाम ओष्टाव दंता मगेश्वर सूत्राणी ऐन रलक 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 ए ओम ए ओम आय आउच आय आउच हाय वरट हाय वरट लन लन यमांगा यमांगा नानम यमांगा नानम कपैर मगेश्वर सूत्राणी अदरवेज इट इज कॉल्ड बै द नेम अक्षर सामनाय अक्षर सामनाय अक्षराग्रह अकारभ्य लास्ट लेटर इज दि कॉन्सनेट हकारभ्य हकार पर्यता वर्ण समूह संग्रह अक्षर सामनाय so the all the letters of the language are covered in this nageshwara sutra therefore the sutra is <coughs> we begin with the, this sutra so we are going to first study this only this sutra nageshwara sutra the last class i told uh, about the different types of sutras we will do that before that let us see something about this mageshwara sutra though we know but there's a, a commentary is there we'll see i'll type and explain what it is so starting from a 
ending with the uh, ha the group of letters that akshara samuha that is called akshara samamnayam so therefore all these are iti maheshwarani iti maheshwarani sutrani iti maheshwarani sutrani maheshwarani sut sutran yanadi sanyarthani this is always the com commentary we'll find in the lagu siddhanta comedy i will show you iti maheshwarani sutrani if you split this sutran yanadi sanyarthani it means you split you get sutrani then an an adi sanya sanya arthani if you split you, you get this sandhya has happened ಇದಿ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರಾಣಿ ಸೂತ್ರಾಣಿ ಅಣ್ ಆದಿ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಅರ್ಥಾಣಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ 14 ಗ್ರೂಪಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೆಟರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಲೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ 14 ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರಾಣಿ ಸೂತ್ರಾಣಿ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ತಾಗತಾಣಿ ಸೂತ್ರಾಣಿ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ಸೂತ್ರಾಣಿ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ಆದ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರಾತ್ ಆಗತಾನಿ ಸೂತ್ರಾನಿ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ಸೂತ್ರಾಣಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ವಿಚ ಕಂ ಪ್ರಂ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ಈ ಸೂತ್ರಾಣಿ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರಾಣಿ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರಾತ್ ಆಗತಾನಿ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರಾಣಿ ತಾನಿ ಸೂತ್ರಾಣಿ ಸೊ ಅಣ್ ಆದಿ ಸಂಜ್ಞ ಅರ್ಥಾನಿ ಸೊ ದಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರ ಅಣ್ ದಿ ಅನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರ ಐವನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಂಜ್ಞ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಂಜ್ಞ ಸೊ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರ ಅಣ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ it is meant for defining the name of the group and etc or these sanyas these names are meant for naming it is meant for naming it is meant for defining or classifying the groups of letters sanya what is sanya samyak nyayate ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ನ್ಯಾಯತೆ ಅನಯ ಇತಿ ಸಂಜ್ಞ ಬೈ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಸಂಜ್ಞ ಸೊ ಅಣ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಆದಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ವರ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರ and pratyahara has got a sanya so therefore an adi sanyarthani mageshwarani sutrani sanya is for 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 grouping for grouping the letters sanya is for identifying the the letters which belong to the group so therefore sanya arthani an adi sanya arthani and is a pratyahara and we know pratyahara is pratyahriyante sankshipyante varnaha etra etra sah pratyahara that is 
complication of the many letters into one syllable and is one syllable therefore 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 it is a sutra and sutra lakshanam is there alpaksharatvam is there so now in all these pratyaharas what we found an ak it what are pratyaharas h h in all these pratyaharas in all these pratyaharas this last letter the last letter is it esham antyaha itah esham antyaha itah esham denotes to sutra sutranam sutranam antya antya varnah itah iti katyate itah means eti apagachati iti it visa that which is not going to which disappears when you when you take into consideration it will not be there therefore it they are called it so yesham yesham sanyana antyah yesham sanyana this in the sanya it is there but in the it is as a sanyi it is not there at the sanyi it is not the therefore they are called it therefore yesham antyah itah what is itah it is the pratipadikam itah is prathama vibhakti vibhavachana can be declined like marut shabda okay this is number 2 number 3 akaradishu akaradishu akaraha uccharnartaha it is uchara uccharnartaha akaradishu starting from the consonant ha that is a soft consonant fifth sutra ever it so starting from there that akara which is there along with the consonant it is only for the sake of pronunciation starting from however it lan so it is only for the sake of pronunciation therefore when you consider those consonants you have to consider the the pure consonants you have to discard the letter a you should not consider okay so you have to discard the letters na punaha antarena acham vyanjanasya ucharanam api sambhavati so the akara is ucharanam na sambhavati without acha without akara vyanjanasya ucharanam na sambhavati therefore i is added but when we consider the let the letters we have to consider only the consonants akaradishu akaraha uccharanatah this is number 3 then number 4 lan 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 is a sutra lan madhye lan madhye tu it sanyakah this already i explained this lan madhye tu it sanyakah what is in the lan the lan what are the letters are there in lan if you see lakara is there plus that nasalized a is there followed by the it letter lakara is there a is also it letter only the intervening letter a is also it letter so lan madhye tu 
it sanyakaha that is lan madhye this is la, this is a madhya madhya akshara to it sanyakaha the the middle letter the intervening letter should be considered to be it why it is forming the the pratyahara ra pratyahara the ear only the a is not for uchcharana artham it is for giving the name giving the the name it lan madhye to it sanyakaha so you understand these sentences now i will show you you will understand that is from the lagu siddhanta kaumadi and those this whatever i type now this you will find in lagu as well as in siddhanta kaumadi i think i told you what they are siddhanta kaumadi and all if you if i have not told you just tell you what it is battoji dikshita the great vyakarana grammarian he had written siddhanta kaumadi siddhanta kaumadi he has written <coughs> Yes, he has explained Panini Sutra according to the topic wise. You will find nicely yes then Siddhanta Kaumudi. He has written many works: Rupa Vatara, Prakriya Kaumudi, Prakriya Sarvasya, Bhattoji Dikshita. A great Vya uh, Grammarian Vya Karana Siddhanta Kaumudi, the original work. Siddhanta Kaumudi. All the sutras of the Ashtadhyayi are covered. He had written the topic. Uh, he had written the topic wise. And since it is so huge, all the sutras are covered, so it's difficult to read. Therefore, Varada Raja, Varada Raja, who came later. He wrote Madhya Siddhanta Kumbhadi. Madhya is middle. That also, that also, for some people, it is difficult to read. So therefore, he thought he will write another work that is called Lagu Siddhanta Kumbhadi. So, what is the difference between this Siddhanta Madhya Siddhanta Lagu Siddhanta Kumbhadi? Only in terms of number of sutras, they differ. In the Siddhanta Kaumadhi, all the sutras of Ashtadhyayi are covered. And uh, Bhattoji Dikshita has explained those sutras topic-wise. You would see Sanya Prakranam and different Prakranams are there. In the order of the, the, the sutras, the order of the sutras, here yeah, you will find three. So, 3,965 sutras are covered, all the sutras in Siddhanta Kumudi. So, difficult to read. We don't need to know all the sutras also. And therefore, Madhya Siddhanta Kumudi, that Varada Acharya, he condensed them into 2,315 sutras. That also, for some people, difficult to study. And later, he further condensed them and adopted a certain prakriya, that is here prakriya, what prakriya is, prakriya followed here is based on the derivation of the word, any, any particular word. So therefore the number of sutras is still reduced, that came down to around 1300, 1276 sutras, that is what you will find in this Lagu Siddhanta Komadi. Studying this itself is Enough. If time is there, then we can read Madhya Siddhanta or, or Siddhanta Kaumadi. So, Bhattoji Dikshita and Varadaraja, the names are very popular in the grammar world. And Bhattoji Dikshita is son is Bhana Dikshita. 
he has written a commentary on Amaragosha, the famous um, commentary Vyak Vyakya Sutha, and Bhana Dikshita Sane Sari Dikshita. He was the son of uh, Nagesha Bhatta. Nagesha Bhatta is uh, he had his uh, Paribhasha Hindu Shekara is famous one. Paribhasha Hindu Shekara, the Paribhasha Sutras of Pani Magrishi are explained by Nagesha Bhatta. So in this Lagu Siddhanta Komadi, written by Bhadracharya, first thing you will see the Mageshwara Sutra is explained. You will find the Mageshwara Sutra, whatever the I type now, the sentences that you will find in this beginning itself. Okay, you can repeat after me since uh, we are going to study Lagosiddhanta, not literally Lagosiddhanta Kamadi, but we will be referring it and sometimes we will study this also. So you can chant the prayer Natva Saraswati Devim. Natva Saraswati Devim. Shuddham Gunyam Karom Yakam. Panini a prevesha, yeah. Panini a prevesha, Prakaranam. This book in the index you will find. Prakranams are given. Prakranam is topic. First is Sanya Prakranam. First we have to understand the Sanya Prakranam. These are the different Prakranams. Sanya Prakranam. After Sanya Prakranam, Arch Sandhi, Alch Sandhi, Visarka Sandhi is dealt like this. So the, so the Prakranam here is different from the Siddhanta Kaumudi Prakranam. Here, taking a word, taking a word, and the based on the derivation of the word, what was sutras are applicable? The method, the the that, that method that that method is adopted here. It was Siddhanta Komodi. So first is Sanya Prakarna. Starting from the Mageshar Sutra, Pratyaharas are the Sanya. So therefore, it starts from there. I even etc. Mageshwara Sutrani. Iti Mageshwarani Sutrani Anadi Sanyartani. That is what I explained in the beginning. Iti Mageshwarani Sutrani Anadi Sanyartani. An etc. The names of Pratyagara. These are the Sanyartani. It's for the sake of giving the name. Naming, naming, naming the group of letters. Esha Mantyaha Itaha. The last letter are considered to be are called it. Are called it. Okay. Then here he has the footnote here as you can see. Anadi Sanyartataya Shiva Sutrani Api Sanya Sutrani. Sanya Sutrani Evaiti Bodhyam Anadi Sanyartaya Shiva Sutrani Shiva Sutrani also to be considered Sanya Sutras. Why? Because Anadi Sanyartataya, because of having the status of the meaning, uh, the, the meaning of the, the, the Sanya, the Sanya having the the un etc. I mean the meaning of the sanya. They are sanyas. Therefore, Shiva Sutra, the Nagesha Sutra, the Akshar Samavnayam, they are also to be considered as Sanya Sutrani. Eva, Sanya Sutrani Eva Iti, both them to be understood. Kivartani Imani Atahavuktam An Adi Iti. Why? That is why he said An etc. An is the sanya. Sanyartataya, Anadi Sanyartataya, Shiva Sutrani, Sanya Sutrani. 
ಅಣ್ ಆದಿ ಯಾಸಾಂ ತಾಹ ಅನಾದಯ ತಾಹ ಚ ತಾಹ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಅನಾದಿ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ತಾಹ ಅರ್ಥ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಅರ್ಥ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಯಾಂ ತಾನಿ ಅನಾದಿ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾರ್ಥಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಅರ್ಥ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ the uh, the purpose of giving an etc this names as its prayojana therefore the word anadi sanyartani is explained an adihi yasam taha an etc all this yasam that which is this an etc these are called anadaya taha sanyaha these are the names and the name and this sanyaha taha and the and the prayojana of this is called anadi sanyartha tani is explaining the vigra giving the vigraha vakya of this samasa anadi sanyartha taya shiva sutrani that line anadi sanyartha taya is there that is explaining there an adi sanya artha is there so anadi sanyaha taha arthah prayojanam ಯಾಂ ತಾನಿ ಅನಾದಿ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾರ್ಥಾನಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬಗುಬ್ರಿಗಿ ಸಮಾಸ ಎನಿವೇ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ನೋ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಸಮಾಸ ದೆನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಐ ಟೈಪ್ ಅಕಾರಾದಿಶು ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಕಾರಾದಿಶು ಅಕಾರ ಉಚ್ಚಾರಣಾರ್ಥ already we saw that lan madhye tu it sanyakah in the lan that a is it's a it sanyaka a is a it sanyaka okay. so now the first topic starts with it prakaranam first topic starts with it prakaranam i will follow sometimes this order then i will change the the order now the knowledge of it letter is important in the last class we saw the different types of sutras in the ashtadhyayi different types of sutra sanya sutra vidhi sutra apavada sutra paribhasha sutra you can see the sutras hope you remember adhikara sutra vidhi sutra will be there apavada will be there vidhi is injunction general rule ko vidhi sutra utsarga we call utsarga vidhi sutra and this vidhi will have exception also possible exception will be there sometimes this exception will be there sometimes extension also could be there vidhi sutra or atidesha sutra the rule could be extended in some cases so the rules are classified as in the last class we saw paribhasha sutra paribhasha sutra vidhi sutra adhikara sutra adhikara is a topic and uh, what else we saw atidesha sutra many sutra many many we saw different types of sutras we saw in the, the last class think it is there in the beginning <clears throat> sanya sutra yes sanya sutra so before we study the uh, vidhi sutra uh, we should know the sanya sutra the important sutras i name it again if you want you can note it down sanya sutra sanya sutra it it uh, interprets or it uh, defines the sanya sanya sutra paribhasha sutra that is the rules of interpretation of a sutra is to be interpreted for that we some sutras are there paribhasha we will see when we study paribhasha sutra and uh, vidhi sutra otherwise called utsarga general rule and the vidhi sutra may have exception that is called apavada and this vidhi can be extended that is called atidesha sutra which is not here mentioned but you can note then adhikara sutra adhikara sutra is the topic wise the topics which are discussed these are the names of 
some sutras. And now, to start with, we are going to study the Sanya Sutra. And in the Sanya, so many Sanyas are there. The first Sanya, what we are going to study is It Sanya. Already we know what It is. How do we know It? Because it is defined in Mageshra Sutra. It is defined in Ashtadhyayi. Therefore, we know. Now, the first sutra, Halantyam, that is the first sutra. One, three, three. One, three, three. This Sanya sutras, you will find, most of the Sanyas you will find in the, the first chapter, first section you will find. In the first chapter, first section. You know, the 133 is the, the first one is, first letter is chapter. Adi. This is the, the Adhyaya. Second one is section, Pada. Third one is Sutra number. So 133 means Pratama, Pratama Adhyaya, Tritiya Pade, Triti, Tritiya Sutra. 133. The first section of the first chapter you will find, you will find a lot of Sanya. Uh, sanya, sanya Sutras you will find. The Sanya Sutras are there in other places also, but in first uh, section of the first chapter you will find a lot of Sanya Sutra. And this it Sanya Sutram, it is the third section. Three, one, three, three, third section of the first chapter. <coughs> Halantyam. This is the sutra. What does the sutra do? Halantyam means what? You have to split. If you sp split, if you split this, the first sutra, which is a Sanya sutra, Sutram number one, that is what we are going to see. Sutram, first sutra. In, in our order, this is going to be the first sutra. So, when I type, I also will make notes of with this. The first sutra, what we are going to see is Alantyam. Alantyam is the sutra. What is Alantyam? First, we should know this. Here, if maybe I will give the sutra number. After the sutra number, within bracket, I will split the sandhi and give. Hal antyam. What is the? Not sandhi, in fact. Hal plus sandhi is a male animal. Hal plus antyam. Hal plus antyam. Hal antyam. Antyam is the end, the final. Hal is the, the consonant. What do you call it? it is a Sanya Sutra and this is a Sanya Sutra. This is a Sanya Sutra. So you can write the name of the Sutra. What Sutra is? It is a Sanya Sutra. <coughs> so <coughs> the first Sutra First sutra is Halantyam. And where is it is mentioned here? It is not there here. Therefore, it has to come from it has to come from the, the previous sutra. It has to come from the, the previous sutra. I will show you the Ashtadhyayi. Just a minute.
sharing a file. In fact, it is uh, from the site only, ashtadhyayi.com. Ashtadhyayi.com, that is the, the site. So, there we are in the first chapter, third section. So, you can see 111. 1110, 111, it's all this, all the sutras are there. Now we will go to the, the third section of the first chapter. If you have Ashta Adhyayi book, it is okay. So here, 133, you can see in the screen. 133, Halantyam is there. So, that is a sutra we are saying. Where is it here? It is not there. But in the previous sutra, you will see it. In the previous sutra, the letter it is there. Can you see? 132. Can you see? Can you see the file? All of you? Yes, Chief. Yes. Upadeshe, Upadeshe, Janunasika, it. Sutra is there? 132? Yes. There you find yes. it is there. Now, just I'm clicking that. We are not going to see that sutra. Just if you see that. Okay, that is uh, okay. I'm going to the next sutra. Sutra is not required. One, three, three. Here you can see sutra, sutra chedaha. Sutra chedaha is splitting the sutra. Hal and antyam. Both are one one. Pratama vakti ekavachanam. That way, that's why he's given pratama ekavachanam, pratama ekavachanam. Then anuvrti you see. It is there. The anuvrti you will see it. Which is, which, is, which is coming from the previous sutra. Anuvrta is that which flows. I told in my last class, the flow of words from the previous sutra. Flow of words from one sutra to the subsequent sutras. Many sutras, you can flow for many, many sections also. So those are called Anuvrti. So it is Anuvrti. Why it is coming down from the previous sutra? The sutra doesn't have to, Panini Makarishi doesn't have to repeat the same name, it, Alantyam, it, not required. It is coming as Anuvrti from the previous sutra, therefore, 132, it is written here. For every sutra, we should have, we should have this. One is first you have to write the sutra, then you have to write, split the sutra, because sutra itself, Sandhi would have happened. So you have to split the sutram. First is sutra name. If you want what type of sutra is that, that it can be done. Second thing is sutra vicheda. Split the sutra. Apply the sandhi rule and split. We know sandhi rule. So we can do that. Then write the anuvrtis. What are the anuvrtis for this sutra? You have to write second one. How do we know? When we learn, we know. When we study, we know what could be the Anuvrti. Second thing is Anuvrti to be written. And the third one is Adhikara, the topic also. If there any, this discussion comes under any topic, under any topic, Adhikara, that also to be written. Third one, you can write the full, now you can write the, the Sampurna Sutram. What is Sampurna Sutram? That is applying the Anuvrtis, adding the Anuvrtis to the current sutra, that is called Sampurna Sutram. This is a Sampurna Sutram. Halantyam itself is not complete. Unless the Anuvrti is other, Halantyam doesn't make any sense. Therefore, Anuvrtis are important. So, Anuvrti for this sutra is, one, one, that is it, that is coming from down from the previous sutram, Upadeshe, 
I'll show that Upadeshe, Ach Anasika Git. And another Anumurti is Upadeshe. So both are coming down as Anumurti from the previous Sutra. Both are coming down. Then why, do we, why don't we study that first? You can study that first. But here, since uh, we are talking about Mageshwara Sutra, and in the Mageshwara Sutra, the last letters are it. Therefore, we took that third Sutra, 133. We are going to see this Sutra 132 later. So, <coughs> after bringing down these words as Anuvrutti, now the Sampurna Sutra we will see Upadeshe Antyam Hal It Padeshe Antyam Hal It So that is the so that is if this full sutra, and for that sutra can we you can extend that you can write in the form of a vritti that can be done now. So having brought the anumritti, so now what we have is upadeshe antyam hal it upadeshe coming as anumritti and it as anumritti. Therefore. Upadeshe Antyam Hal It It This is the This is the The, the Real Sutram That is Applying the Anuvarti, you get, now this is meaningful. Upadeshe, Upadeshe is in the Upadesha, that is, it is seven one. Saptame Vivakti, Ekavachanam, Upadeshe. In Upadesha, the last, Antyam, the final, the final consonant is considered to be it. The final consonant is considered to be it. Antyam is Pratama Vibhakti Ekavachanam. We have to first write this also. Identify the Vibhakti and the Vachanam of the words of the Sutra. It is Sanya. It is Sanya. Because it is Sanya, always it will be in Pratama Vibhakti Ekavachanam. You can note. Because it is a name, therefore, it will always be Pratama Vibhakti Ekavachanam. So Upadeshe Antyam Hal It. It is like Madhur Shabda. Hal is like what Shabda? It is also like Madhur Shabda only. Hal, Halau, Halaha. Okay. All these are Halanta Shabda. No linga for this because it doesn't have linga. In the acronym, we don't have to bother about the linga. Because these are just, just uh, names, right? Therefore, okay. Antyam is one, one, one. Antyam. Antya, antya can be declined. Now, Upadesha. What are these Upadesha? Upadesha is those five Granthas. Datupata, Sutrapata, Ganapata, Unari, Sutrani. Linga and Shasanam, these are called Upadesha. These are not only this, I mean, in this, this five, five are called Upadesha, and within this five, Adesha, Agama, Pratya, Sarda, those are also called Upadesha. That is understood. Anyway, <coughs> there is a shloka which talks about this, which says, What are these Upadeshas? You want that shloka? You will find in, in the footnote of Lagu Siddhanta Omudi. You will find, I think, here itself. <clears throat> there is that Upadeshe. Yes, you can see here in the screen, I am sharing that. Dhatu, dhatu Sutra Gano Dhadi Vachalinga Nushasanam Can you see that? Agama Pratyaya Deshaha Upadesha Prakirtitaha Can you see that? 
సో ధాతు పాట సూత్రపాట గణపాట ఉనాది సూత్రాన్ని సంసూత్ర సార్ ఉనాది సూత్ర డోంట్ వరీ అబౌట్ ఉనాది సో ఉనాది సూత్ర సార్ దర్ అండ్ లింగానుశాసనం ఫర్ ఐడెంటిఫైంగ్ ద లింగ సో దర్ ఫోర్ లింగానుశాసనం ఆగమ ఆగమ వీను అడండం ఆగమ ప్రత్యయ ఇస్ సఫిక్సెస్ ఆదేశ ఇస్ దట్ విచ్ రీప్లేసెస్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఆర్ కన్సిడర్ టు బి ఉపదేశ దిస్ ఇస్ అ శ్లోక విచ్ ఇస్ ఇన్ ది ట్రెడిషన్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ నో ఉపదేశ దిస్ ఎఫ్ దిస్ శ్లోక ఓకే సో దిస్ ఆర్ ది ఉపదేశ నాట్ ఓన్లీ దిస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ పాణి మగరిషి టోల్డ్ పతంజలి టోల్డ్ కత్యాయని టోల్డ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ డే టోల్డ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ డే డే they have given all these are upadesha only this is a, a famous shloka therefore it is quoted so now in this therefore upadesha means not only in sutra pata upadesha means in sutra pata also not only in sutra pata in dhatu pata in all these granthas and the agama pratyaya adesha wherever it is there the last hal is considered to be it is it clear yes 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 ji yeah then if it is clear then i will ask question <laughs> ayadi sandhi rule you know yes you know ayadi sandhi rule mm. ayadi i am not i mean asking the rule i mean you know yeah you know what it is right yeah yes when does it happen when h is followed by h right h o i v i v when h letter is followed by h letter right yes what is the what are the adeshas oh and uh, yeah uh, i i and uh, only two are there uh, i నాట్ it's not it's not a hmm? it why why not a net we say just now we say agama pratyaya adesha ha upadesha ha prakriti ta semi vavals no semi vavals yakaram yakara is a semi vaval but what is that we are studying now antyam antyam hal it semi vaval is a hal only it's a consonant only right yes yes or no yes. you doubt in that yes. is semi vowel not a consonant yes it's a yes yes it's a consonant it's a consonant it's a consonant only then yakara is what it's a hal hal for yes. is it it or not yes yes generally what do we do if it is it letter it letter lopah bhavati we drop it right yes yeah do you drop the same thing in same you apply the same thing in there also do you no. just drop the i no, not drop no if you drop the i what will happen if you, if you drop the i yes, sorry not i if you drop the akara what will happen four adeshas are there i i av av if you drop what will remain is only a a only <laughs> then what is the point in having ayadi uh, sandhi <laughs> it will become like someone like there something will happen right uh, yes why i am saying this that yakara vakara they will not become lopah they may get the name of it but that it letter there it will not become lopah if it becomes lopah then it is no meaning then we don't need to have four adesha i Uh, we don't have, we don't need to have simply a is enough if yakara vakara is going to be lopa because it's antyam hal it 
and the content is only a only then why should we have i and a not required so only i and a not required only i is sufficient because they are not it that is why it is specified otherwise a four adesha would have reduced to two adesha you understand what i'm saying all of you yes yes or no this is yes ji yes ji there should be some logic right there should be some reason pani magarchi if he does something there must be some reason without reason he will not do what i am saying according to the, the upadesha definition what i showed now it shows agama pratyaya adeshah upadeshah prakirtitah so this is the adesha so the last letter is is a hal so antyam hal if you say yakara and vakara of this adeshas are it if you say <coughs> generally what we do with the it letter we just drop it lopaha bhavati adarshanam bhavati lopaha is adarshanam bhavati right so if it is adarshanam then why should we have i of two adesha why required we can simply call it as ah oh, is enough right we don't need to have i of uh, panini at least would have reduced uh, panini magarshi would have reduced two adesha would have saved putrotsav uh, manyate um, similarly i and a we could have just said a therefore here this in this is an adesha all this adesha but yakara vakara has got some purpose it even though you can call them as it but it will not become lopa we cannot call them as it also because later we are going to study if it is an it letter lopa bhavati because it is therefore we cannot give them the it sanya therefore we cannot give them the it sanya where the antyam hal doesn't become lopa understand that is not it okay this is how the this is how you have to understand this is how the this these is the sutras in the, this whether it is sutras or whether it is datu pata in everywhere we have to understand like this if some letter if the last if the if the con if the last consonant doesn't disappear it doesn't become lopaha let us use the word lopaha not disappear lopaha is a better word if the last consonant as per this sutra antyam hal if it doesn't disappear doesn't drop doesn't become lopaha understand it is not a it letter therefore previously i said you can call them as it in fact you cannot call them as it because if it is a it lopaha bhavati that we are going to see later Uh, after some sutras that is going to come that rule is going to come if it is a, an it tasya lopah bhavati sutra is a, tasya lopah one sutra is a. but here i av i av yakara vakara doesn't become lopa if it becomes lopa there is no point in giving four adesha it is enough to give only two adesha <coughs> ah, ah it's enough and you will not get the forms like I mean, you want in as per the the uh, uh, the i have the rules of ir isn't you will not get the forms will be uh, irregular the forms will be somewhat uh, irregular so it will not be in uh, line with the the the, the words of the language so therefore i of i of in this this letters the antim hal they are not it why it doesn't become lopa when a antyam hal doesn't become lopa we have to understand it as not it is not it therefore we cannot apply these uh, this uh, <coughs> this uh, flatly everywhere agama pratyaya adeshah upadesha prakirtitah okay therefore in the upadesha antyam hal it is that therefore i will remove i will consider i will consider the last letter as it letter 
and therefore that's a low probability i will drop it you cannot say okay this is only an counter example for you to understand okay this is not our discussion just to make you understand such things are also there later when we see see dhatu pata you will find <coughs> you will find many such things based on based on the dhatu we have to see whether it is yeah, it the, the antim hal is it or not if all the antim uh, it's a it then it's a problem okay anyway so <clears throat> I'll give another example. Thinking about another example, <clears throat> just uh, some example comes. I have to see the original dhatu. Ship is a dhatu, right? Ship is a dhatu. You know, ship is to throw. We have to see what is the <clears throat> the original form of the dhatu. If you apply the rule, antim hal it. What is here? What's the last letter here? Akara. Akara is a it letter. We have to remove it. it. Becomes kshi. It doesn't make sense. Kshi means di different. Ship means different, right? What is ship? Ship means to throw. She means dk, right? She means a different. So akara is not a it letter. Why I am talking about that that part? Because that is also called upadesha, right? Dhatu pata is also upadesha. In the dhatu pata, you find all these dhatus. Therefore, we have to see whether the, the consonant is part of the dhatu. If it is a part of the dhatu, then it is not it. That's a lopahana bhavati. Is clear? Uh, yes, Ji. Yes, Ji. Okay. We'll go at a slow pace only. So, understand these things clearly. I hope it doesn't become too much. Also, then we will read the the, the explanation to antyam. Al, that is alantyam. You can remember the sutra, sutra number, and all. Later, just we will see alantyam one three three. Upadeshe antyam. <coughs> Hal iti syat. Okay, just simple. Sandhi. Upadesha. You can understand. In the Upadesha. <coughs> Antyam hal. It iti syat. Antyam hal is considered to be it. Okay. Upadesha adyo charanam. Upadesha. Adhyocharanam. Upadeshaha. Adhya ucharanam. Adhya ucharanam is what? Upadesha. Adhya ucharanam. That is as given by the previous <coughs> people. That is Panini, Kadhyayana and Patanjali. So Adhyo Adhyo Charanam means they refer to Patanjali, Panari Kartyayana Patanjali. You can see the, the footnote number three. That's what is given. Panani Kartyayana Patanjali Ka Patanjali Kar Patanjali Kartrikam Pratama Vicharanam Kartaha. So whatever they have given, whatever they have given us, they are considered to be Pratama Ucharanam. So, Pani, Kathyayana, Patanjali, Kartrikam. Okay. So, Adhyo Charnam is Pratama Ucharnam. Ucharnam is pronunciation. Here, you cannot take the entire pronunciation is. So, you have to take it as what they have given us. The knowledge in the form of uh, different Granthas. Adhyo Charnam. Sutreshu. <clears throat> Adrishtam padam sutrantarat anuvartaniyam sarvatra sutreshu adrishtam padam sutrantarat anuvartaniyam sarvatra. 
what does it mean so in in this sutra you don't see you don't see the letter it do you see that no it's not there you don't see upadesha also so sutreshu adrishtam padam the sutra the padams which are not seen that has to be brought down from another sutra sutrantarat sutra anya sutrat sutrantara is what anya sutra another sutra anya sutrat anavartaniyam sarvatra everywhere so everywhere it is to be understood what is to be understood the padam which you don't see in the sutra has to be brought down from the previous sutra then only it will be, be meaningful okay to understand the hidden meaning of a sutra we have to bring the words from the other sutra sutra antarat anuvartan that is called anuvritti clear so 133 you know so much is there in 133 already we know didn't i tell you about this antyam hal it i have told already yes okay. when we analyze this so many information is there we need to know okay we will stop here so first one we have seen first sutra antyam halantyam you can remember halantyam it then remember halantyam it upadesha is understood when you remember the sutra anuvarti also you need to remember okay so we will see we will continue in the, the next class om purnamada purnavidam purnat purnamudachate purnasya purnamaraya purnameva vishishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri rubyo namaha or hari hi om is a class uh, interesting you understand you follow or difficult it's nice to yeah we can follow them parvati ji prida ji